Hey you guys, I'm finally back with another video. I know it's been a while. This video is going to demonstrate how to do a nude cut crease with a little bit of glitter. And if you love a nice glam, keep watching to see how I achieve this look. So first I started off by prepping my skin with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. And next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I am using the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, which is actually for shadow, but I love to use it to keep my eyebrows on. And then next I'm actually doing my brows with eyeshadow because I get really sweaty for some reason around my brows. So I feel like personally eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow is the best way for my brows to actually stay on. So as you can see, I'm just filling in my brows here with the, um, with the powder. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop pencil. And this is a brow pencil. And then the only thing I'm really doing with the pencil is just defining um, my brows. Especially the tail because I want it to look nice and crispy. And next, I'm using the Brow Tamer from Urban Decay. And I'm just using this to kind of define the hairs. As you can see, I don't have a lot of hair on my brows. So this kind of helps it to look a little bit fuller. And then next, I am using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I mixed it with the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. And I'm just going through to kind of define and clean up my brows a little bit. Or a lot, actually. And I'm just going to blend that out. Look how clean they look, yes. All right, so next is eyeshadow. Um, I used the, I think, Rustic Rose palette from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. Um, that's the eyeshadow palette that I'm using for my brows. And I also used the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I used both of those. I should have took a picture of it or like posted in the video so you guys can see the colors but honestly it's really not that important as long as you have colors that you're comfortable with um, you can like just kind of do the look based on what you feel is best for your skin tone so I just use oranges and uh, dark browns and like rustic kind of colors just to create this look because I want it to look really warm so that's what I'm doing I'm just building up shadow colors um, I went from light to dark I wanted to look like an ombre effect or more of a like a gradient effect so light to dark but you don't want to see where the colors start or stop so that's why you see me constantly just blending away so blending is key here ladies just blend until your fingers fall off All Nighter Concealer and with this as you can see I'm really kind of carving out my lid and trying to clean up really nice to get that crispy cut crease effect um, it'll be easier if you were to use a flat brush or an angle brush or something that's really precise and not the applicator out the bottle like I use <laughs> but that's okay um, it worked for the time being um, but yeah, just really take your time to clean it up because it's it's not a race and the faster you go the more you're end up messing up so <clears throat> Just cleaning and cleaning and next I'm setting it with a, a nice neutral eyeshadow So this shadow had like a little bit of yellow in it. So I don't know I like I like a more yellow tone neutral versus like a pink It just looks better with my skin tone and then after that I like to clean up the powder with a um, like whatever dark brown I had in the crease just to kind of really define it and it'll give it more of like a shadow effect 
next I'm using the Urban Decay Glitter Liner. I will leave the name of this in the description because I cannot think of what it's called. <laughs> um, but I like to use this glitter and I just, sometimes I put it all over my lid, but this time I just wanted to carve out the lid and it'll just give it a nice simple glam. That way the, um, the eyeshadow is standing out more than anything. Next I'm using Duo Lash Glue to just put on my lashes and these lashes are from Ilure. Um I did that and then next I'm going to go ahead and just apply some eyeliner this is also from Urban Decay this is zero eyeliner it's a black but it's not like the darkest black and I like it because it doesn't irritate my eyes moving on to the face so this is the Fenty foundation um, I just like to apply it to my face first and then I go through and blend it out it just works easier for me and it just doesn't mess up my beauty blender which is nice so I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender as you can see don't be alarmed I know it looks really light right now my skin is going through some things that's what happens when you're pregnant so yes yeah, so don't mind it being light we're gonna fix all that later and then the concealer that I'm using to kind of highlight my face uh, same two concealers I use for my eyebrows these are the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin and the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. So I'm just using that and I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender as well. girl pro concealer as a cream contour this is gonna help with my face looking so light um, it's gonna add a little bit of dimension and color to it so that way it's not it's not super white here so I'm just applying that and I'm just gonna blend that out nicely with a brush My Sasha Buttercup powder to set my under eyes with basically everywhere I put the concealer I'm gonna apply this powder to set and then I'm going to kind of carve out my contour with the powder as well so it's gonna be like underneath uh, my cheekbone um, but I like to apply it with a beauty blender it just gives you more precision and it just helps you with the placement of the powder so I'm just gonna do that it's kind of like baking but as you can see, I'm clearly going to swipe the powder away immediately. I don't like to leave it on for a long time because I feel like it starts to look a little weird. So, I don't do the whole baking process. I just put it on and swipe it right off. So, it's like a mini baking session. <laughs> but I'm just swiping it away with the brush. And I make sure I like add a lot of pressure to pull the powder away. Because if you don't, you're going you're gonna to definitely see the residue. And I don't want to see the powder residue on my face. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And I like to use this as a contour powder. So basically, I'm just setting that cream contour that we applied. So moving back up to the eyes, I'm using a dark brown eyeshadow to kind of like buff out the liner that I applied earlier. Um, this kind of helps to create like a, a nice blown out eyeliner effect. And I wanted to give it just a little bit of drama, nothing too crazy, but I think this really completes the look if you just add a little bit of shadow underneath the eye along with the eyeliner. Um, it's just, it's a nice finish. After that, I'm going to highlight. So I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit, and as you can see, I mixed those two colors that I pointed to to create my beautiful glowy highlighted skin. Moving 
down to the lips, I am using Chestnut from MAC. This is a nice dark brown liner. As you can see, I'm just kind of using this to define my lips. Um, I want to kind of give this nude look like a, like a pouty look. Um, clearly, I don't need any help with making my lips look bigger. But regardless of whatever I put on my lips, they're just going to look bigger. So, own it, honey. Alright, so I like to go on the outer parts of my lips first. Um, and then I do like the middle. That way it, it's creating like an ombre effect. I love doing ombre effects. All right, so next this is the Urban Decay Lip Liner in Conspiracy. It's another dark brown. This one is more of a warm shade, so I'll kind of just overlap that as you can see. And then this is Flush from MAC. Um, and I'm just putting that in the center of my lips. And I'm just going to blend it out. I know it looks crazy, but trust the process. So next, I'm applying Oyster Girl Lip Gloss from MAC. Um, I always like to start in the center of the lip and then just kind of work my way outside. That way, I'm not applying too much gloss. And lastly, I am setting my makeup with the MAC Fix Plus Spray. And voila, there you have it, a finished look. So thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the look. I feel cute. I look cute. I hope you feel cute too. <laughs> thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.